Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service and today I'm going to show you two vulnerabilities on the same parameter. One is an IDOR and the other one is a cross-site scripting vulnerability. So let's start out and we go to our main page. So we are on our main page here. Um, if we go to the login register um, tab over here and we say request an account, it says there's currently zero invites available. Okay, let's take a look at this in in verb. So let's send this request over to repeater to play with it. So it says invites zero. So there's nothing available. Now, this is an API endpoint, right? And then what you would do as a, as a bug bounty hunter or as a penetration tester is basically you start fuzzing around with custom word lists like what else might be there so there's an invites.php like if you think you know so you could brute force this right and this would take you probably in like an hour or something and then you would you would find hidden endpoints so to speak um which are there but they are not listed on the website necessarily or not in the unauthenticated section but if you if you look back at the at the at the website it's, it's fast food hacking so it's it's an it's a restaurant right like it's a res restaurant with menus with where you can order stuff right like if you go to, to our menu here um pizzas um blah, blah 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 right and so what i'm thinking always is like hey what what would make sense for this specific um for these specific um pages so a restaurant takes orders right like let's try if we can find something on on orders and then you immediately get an error message so that means the orders.php exists and the order id could not be found okay this is this is interesting so maybe it's requesting like another parameter or something so if i put a question mark and then i put order id order id equals one for example and the order ID could not be found. So maybe they're, they're writing the order ID differently or something could be, right? So um, do an underscore in between. And then all of a sudden you get like the order ID number one and there was a flag in there and this order was canceled. Okay, so this is already interesting. First of all, is this is an, an uh, authentication problem because I can call this order ID unauthenticated as you can see here there's no cookie set and nothing and but maybe there's an idor as well so i was checking order id one and then if i go to order id two i get another flag so there was an order id two which also has been cancelled maybe order id three right and this order was not fined okay number four but clearly it already demonstrates so number four was also not fine. So so what you could do is you can now brute force all these numbers, say up to 10,000 and see what is found and what is not found. But you can clearly see that there's an IDOR problem because number one and number two are, so there's a, there's a canceled order and number two, there's also a canceled order, right? Um, so those two orders existed, but they were canceled. So this is an IDOR first and foremost. Now, secondly, what, what if I put in like another, another value in here, like Martin, right? So, and then I see like order ID Martin. So it's being reflected in there. So maybe there is a cross-site scripting vulnerability as well. So let's just put a script tag in and see what, what happens if this is being reflected. And it actually is, you can see that here. So they're not filtering the script tag. They're not encoding it. There's no input sanitization. So what if I do a full cross-site scripting payload here and see if this is being reflected back to me? And it is. And now if I load this in the browser, show response in browser, and I go over to the, to the web browser, put it in here, I have my cross-site scripting vulnerability, right? So effectively here, here you can see it in the URL path as well. You can see here that the order ID equals script alert zero and closing script tag, and that fired my um, cross-site scripting vulnerability here. So this was a short example of, of basically two vulnerabilities. One is an IDOR and one is a cross-site scripting vulnerability. I hope you like it and I see you in the next video.